Hello, Paul from 4 Drive here, and I'm super excited today to introduce to you the new version 2 motor for the Gen 2 system. It's an entirely new stator system. So this is the same motor that you've been using in the past, but we've changed and redesigned the front end to have a recessed plug. That recessed plug allows us the amazing opportunity to change the cable length to whatever you like, and you no longer need to buy an additional stator. There will be a full installation video of how to put all this together and all the things to consider. But if you want a quick demonstration of how it works, effectively you get your stator, you choose the cable that you would like to use. In this instance, I'm going to choose the 20 centimeter and you simply plug the two together like so. Then you get the new puck design, which is similar to before, but has a different cutout. And that simply slots over the front. And then you would add your four bolts to the new puck with the same two and a half mil allen key that comes with the kit. Then you install the cable as you normally would into the Gen 2 housing, slot it into the pod as per normal, do the bolts up and you're ready to go. Another really big improvement is the hydrodynamic improvement. It might look subtle, but it actually has quite a big impact. So if I was to grab an original one here and I put them side by side, this part here is actually quite large on the original. And if you were to look at the newer one, it's considerably smaller. And it also translates into when you're piercing through the water, the new one is considerably narrower, whereas the original one is wider. So you will notice the improvement. Every test rider has reported that. So that's another massive bonus for the version two architecture. If you're unsure as to what cable length is right for you, there's plenty of podcasts and videos and information about the different types of lengths and what type of activities you can do with it. But at least now it's a lot less of a consequence to try different lengths of cable position because the cables are quite cost effective to change and you'll be able to try different lengths and different experiences with foil drive. For anyone that already owns a foil drive system and would like to upgrade to the version 2 architecture, you do not need to purchase the rotor propellers or hubs, you can continue to use those. And your universal pod system is also reusable. You will have options as to what you do and don't want because everyone will use foil drive in a different way. And this is really going to open up a lot of opportunities for people to use their same foil drive kit in different disciplines.